crusade with the loading race. Danny, there's nothing affable about this. <laughs> it's going to be brutal. Five implements have to be loaded down the course onto the platform. 75 seconds in which to do it. You start with these two piles of logs, and then you move on to the anvil and finish on the sacks. Representing Great Britain, Paul Well, that little nod Smith. shows that Paul Smith understands the rules. Representing the United States. Evan Singleton, Evan fourth time Singleton. here. T-Rex. Failed to get to the final yet, though. Representing the United States. And this Trey man, Mitchell. Trey Mitchell. He's very happy. Did incredibly well two years ago. Came fourth in the WSM final. He's so brawny. That's huge static power. Singleton, though, six foot six. Those big strides should really chew up the ground here. And he's doing well so far. Certainly is. Moves on to the anvil. Nothing to do here except manhandle it onto that platform. On the implement number four already for Singleton. Now, Paul Smith, he's actually quite vertically challenged for a strong man. Around about five foot ten. And it's not easy to get it onto the platform at that height. And Singleton moves on to the final implement. Full length ahead of the other guys. Well, if he finishes this, he's, he's pretty much doing better than he did last year when he collapsed in the loading race. Not so this year. Hands off. He's done it. It's a good time for Evan Singleton. 46.9 seconds. So, Mitchell, can he finish this off? The man from Lumberton in Texas. Well, he lumbers over. Will he manage this? Pushes it on, hands off, he's done it. Yeah, a few seconds to spare, but I think Paul oh. Smith, ooh. Sandcastle time for him. Legs have totally gone. Time. That's a shame there. The Smith with four objects. But a great a performance from the American. Smith managed seconds. four objects in Let's hear it just under 45 Smith. seconds. Did not complete. With five objects in a time of 106.64 seconds. Let's hear it for Trey Mitchell. Well, a good show there for Trey Mitchell. With a time of 46.9 seconds. Give it up 46.9, very fast indeed. Singleton. From the American, Evan Singleton. Yeah, can you guess the former WWE wrestler, <laughs> the T-Rex? He knows how to work a crowd. Great result for him. Representing France. Jean Stéphane Korobov. Second time here at World's Strongest. Iceland, Athor Ingelson Melstad. Familiar face from Iceland, Ingelson Melstad. And final, very calm customer. Oh, Felix. Man, Felix. And Give it the plasterer from Blackburn, Felix. Mark Felix. 18th time here. 18th time. I mean, and he's 57. <laughs> There's so many amazing facts about Mark Felix. And he's quick. Oh! I think uh, everyone, if, if he's not your number one strongman, he's your number two, Mark Felix. <laughs> he's so loved. Well, Ingleson Melstead making light work of that. Onto the anvil as Felix struggles slightly, but manages it. He was looking good in the beginning there. Now, Cora Buff, another man who's well under six foot tall. Ingleson Melstead, he's a very calm, casual character. We know the Icelanders like Hapthor Bjornsson can get very fiery in competition. He's very casual, actually. Well, Ingleson Melstead moves on to the final implement. Remember, 46.9 to beat. He's going to struggle to beat Singleton's time there as Felix moves on to his sack. The former bodybuilder, Cora Buff, you can see the big biceps in the far lane. Felix just gets that sack on. I think uh, our Iceland is going to finish. Well, he has all five objects, 56.41 seconds. As Cora Buff manages his first sack. Struggling, isn't he? God, just filled with lactic acid. Their legs are wobbly. Yeah. It's a hole. Oh, he's not going to do it. Can Felix sneak in? Go on, Mark. Just takes the uh, just out of time. Time. Oh. With three objects in a time of 40.63 seconds. Uh, Let's hear it for John Stefan. Only three objects. With four objects in a time of 54.32. Show some love to Mark. Felix! That's well, a good showing from Mark Felix. You could almost see he found that funny at the end, just running out of time after all that. But Ingelson Melstead, 56.41, puts him in Melstead. second place. Yeah, he looked very good. He's surprisingly fit, Ingelson Melstead. And he's a perennial finalist, you know. He just seems to get there somehow. But it was Singleton who was way ahead, and he's with James and Eddie now. 
Evan, lovely to see you again at World's Strongest Man. And you're looking so relaxed and happy. Yeah, that is an active effort on my part. I'm, I'm known as the guy who gets really psyched up, super aggressive. So the mental approach has completely changed all throughout training prep and coming into competition. I'm going into each event cool, calm, and collected. So far, you've kind of been world's unluckiest man, yeah. more, than, more than strong man, because we've always seen things coming in to interrupt what looked like great starts. This year, how confident are you that you've finally got that bad mojo out of the way? I feel really confident. For me, fourth time's the charm. <laughs> I'm ready to get after it. Every single event, get to the final, get on the podium. All right, long may it continue. Evan Singleton, Thank many thanks. Very much. Good luck, brother. Thank you very much. So Singleton begins in the lead, loading five objects in 46.9 seconds. Melstead and Mitchell, the only other two athletes to load all five. Mitchell taking third.